So what is this Mahdi? What is the meaning of the word Mahdi? And who is the Mahdi? The Mahdi is not his name, it is his title. The Mahdi means the one who is guided and also the one who will guide others. What is his name? The Prophet wasallam said, Allah sends a person from my Ahl al-Bayt. His name shall be my name and his father's name shall be my father's name. Therefore the name of the Mahdi will be Muhammad and his father's name will be Abdullah. So the Mahdi will be Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Another aspect that the Prophet ﷺ told us is that the Mahdi shall have a certain physical characteristic. The Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith in uh, the, the Mustadrak of Al-Hakim and also the Sunnah of Abu Dawood that the Mahdi shall have a large forehead and he shall have an aquiline nose, we call it in English, a nose that is slightly pointed and long. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rectify him in one night, will make him good in one night. This is an interesting hadith because it tells us that the Mahdi in the younger portion of his life will not be as practicing of a Muslim as he should be. He will not be to the level that he is worthy of being. Something will happen, we don't know what. And in one night, he shall repent. And he shall become basically the most pious person on earth. We don't know when he will come, but we do know where he will come from. Now the location, the Prophet wasallam said, when a Khalifa dies sometime in the future, civil war will break out. And so a person from my family, from the Ahlul Bayt, will leave Medina. So he mentioned that the Mahdi shall come from Medina. Then he said, there shall come black flags from the east. And then a war shall ensue between the Muslims that the severity of the war. No ummah has ever undergone such a severe war. So he is saying black flags will come from the east, meaning the lands of Khurasan. Another narration in, in the Muslim Imam Ahmad says, when you see these black flags, realize that there will be the Mahdi. So when you see the black flags, give bay'ah to the Mahdi, even if you have to crawl on snow to get to him. Therefore, the Prophet said, when you see those black flags, that is the sign, this is the Mahdi. Another benefit that we have of the Mahdi is that he shall be the leader of the entire Muslim Ummah. He is going to unite the Ummah after they were divided. The Prophet wasallam said that there will become a time where the Mahdi will come, he shall give money to everybody and not fear poverty, not even count it. My brothers and sisters, the emergence of the Mahdi will be one of the last minor signs of the hour. So the Muslims shouldn't wait for the emergence of the Mahdi, rather one should strive and devote his efforts to support Islam and to do whatever he can for the religion. He should not hope and wait for the emergence of the Mahdi or anyone else, rather he should correct himself, his family and the people around him. So that when he meets Allah, he meet him having done his best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rectify Imam Mahdi, he will appear in one night and after that Muslims have to take bay'ah upon him, he will be the guide of the Muslims, he will safeguard Muslims from many atrocities.